It's Easter egg time. As some of you may know, I have been trying to knock out the Dark Ops challenges for zombies for quite a while now. And we got a few of them done, even getting to round 100. And they had the audacity to take that calling card away. So we'll have to get that back at some point. And I do not have it for the first ever map in this game, D Machina. And we have the newest and last map coming out next week. So I think I should get this done before then. But anyways, I've never seen the D Machina Easter egg. I have no idea what happened. So I'm going to be probably looking up some steps while I'm doing it. But let's just go ahead, hop on D Machina and try to get this done. All right, here we go. Flying in. I know we're... Holy jeez, look at our hair. To say, I know we are extremely late to doing this Easter egg, but I don't really get into zombies too much until after i finished getting dark matter and that was around a little bit after firebase c came out so i was all on firebase and it turned out to be a really good map to grind camos on but nevertheless here we are on d machina and uh i guess before we can get to any of the steps to get the easter egg done we should get power on i'm gonna do that as fast as i can Let's grab our loose change from the non-existent wonder fist I'm looking like sam sitting up here i'm still kind of sad that i'm out of weapons to get dark aether on but i'm happy that i can actually go through and do the things i was missing out on in zombies can we open this yet let's go let's get this loose change pop this bad boy open let me in we need to figure out how to unfuck this situation we ever said a bad word i wish for like halloween and stuff since that's coming up they would just add modes and zombies where it's like this dark and you only have your flashlight and you can toggle it on and off like you can on mauer i think adding a little more ambiance to this or making like scarier modes would be kind of cool kind of like what they have in uh the war zone what is it the zombie event i forget outbreak event maybe is what it's called i doubt it's called outbreak but the event where you can be zombies in war zone and there's like jump scares and stuff like that i think having a mode like that in zombies would be really nice for this time of year like this area in here the entire vibe of it is just completely different than when the power's on. I wish I would have played zombies at the start of this game. I'm glad I'm into it now, but playing at the start of this game, being excited to see a new map, getting in this room and finally seeing it light up for the first time must have been crazy hype. Also, if you can see it on the wrist, we're rocking the rolly from Sears, that JC Penny rolly. Okay, hit the button. Got our loose change from there. Oh! cashmere device easy gersh i don't even know what to call these anymore do button one and button two open that shit up poop it right out i kind of did look like poop for a second i was talking a little bit earlier how the new map is coming out next week i've seen that it's supposed to have more of uh like an overall focus on the dark aether and i really hope we get more of this 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 whole dark aether area here on d machina is the most beautiful thing like the the coolest aesthetic i've ever seen in a game and it is so underused so hopefully in the new map we get a, a area kind of like this because look at this look at these colors that light blue the very vibrant purple this is the coolest shit ever and it's never seen we got our pack punch part let's build the machine let's go <laughs> we don't have enough to get full pack yet so i'm gonna go ahead and do the jug easter egg do i even remember how to do this there we go there's another orb where's this last one i'm pretty sure it's over here yep is that it? Let's go. We have all this free time up here. Oh, you know what we should do? How much is first perk? Because the first perk is supposed to be the cheapest. If we pick up the free jug, it's going to raise the price. Let's go ahead and buy Speed Cola. And the, even the Wonder Fizz and everything has like all different tunes in the Dark Aether. And it's hardly used. Like, come on. We already got Speed Cola. What are we getting out of our free box? <gasps> oh, it's a Diamante. I thought that was the ray gun for a second. Not bad. Diamante's not a bad gun. Got a free perk out of it too. All right, now our next steps I know is to get the DIE Shockwave. I think probably the most underwhelming wonder weapon in this game. Has a cool design, but like, isn't that great? So I'm gonna go ahead, sit penthouse until that Megaton comes. We can get the card from him. We can get the we can get the wonder weapon started. And we can just sit up here and farm some points. Another thing I wanna know is why is there a shopping cart here? Show me where anywhere you can shop is around this area. Even if somebody like took it and brought it here they had to make a huge effort in doing that <laughs> come on maybe we'll see how that shopping cart got here in vanguard that's the storyline everyone wants to see there we go got our key card now after we get the wonder weapon and i think part of like the scope part that that about limits what i know on what to do here we had the remote control let's pack a punch while we're right here and we got to train up these little zombies here have them get sucked up by the die machine on the wall all right that seems like enough come on guys just right on in here and turn it on go ahead get in i don't understand why it's only getting a few though let's run back make sure these guys get sucked up it's at maximum it says already discharge easy let's go i've never actually looked in here i thought that said shock fart for a second 
And is it just me or is this skeleton just absurdly big? Like that is that is not a human that was holding that. I know there's a part right here that we have to grab. So please, zombies, let me grab that. Come here. There we go. So there's that. We got our empty canister. I'm going to try to do this from memory as much as possible of all the the little steps that i know all right let's hit the anomaly okay i know a part spawns right here by the stairs let's go that's gonna spawn in some plague hounds easy i don't know if i can grab any other parts while i'm here there's one by the crash site oh it is up here sick i don't have to make multiple trips we can grab that more plague hounds spawn more shit hounds let's open this up probably don't have a whole lot of time left here in the dark aether and here's another part okay we got all the parts we needed for this one and i think that wraps up on what i know to do except for getting them crafted down here but we got to survive this round first zombies easter eggs are so sick like besides when they they make it just ridiculously hard for no reason like some of the firebase C easter egg just having little clues and stuff littered throughout the map is such a cool concept like they really take easter eggs to a whole nother level like it used to be a huge thing in games just hiding easter eggs not saying a word and having your fans try to find them but call of duty has done that consistently throughout zombies so let's go ahead build this now we have the stinky shockwave i'm pretty sure oh no aetherscope part i'm gonna go ahead and pull up the tutorial now and make sure i don't miss anything oh wait there's one more thing i know what to do Megaton, come here. Oh, I can see the anomaly right there. I have to open those doors. But first, I need to get this Megaton to do me a little favor. I need it to squirt on this tree. Come on, Megaton. Shoot one right here. There we go. Did it work? I hope so. Does the Megaton really not do anything to this? Hey, pal, shoot this. Or do I need to get the split right next to it? And that's not close enough to it. Do, the, do his little buddies need to hit it? Are these the guys that do it? Right here. Shoot right here, pal. Almost. Almost at it. I'm gonna go down. Hold on, guys. No, they already knocked me. God damn it. All right, back up right here. Shoot right here. I'll even pin it for you. Come on. Almost. That's almost what I want you to do. Oh, wait. No, it did it. She was literally talking about it as I'm saying almost. I'm gonna buy quick revive really quick because we are very low on health. I'm playing very risky right now. Okay. I don't know what to do now that it's all lit up, but it's lit up now. All right, let's open this up. Hurry. And let's head into the anomaly. Okay, we're back in. We need to find a computer. If I was a computer, where would I be? Oh, right here. That didn't immediately teleport us out or spawn anything. So I'm starting to think we need something else while we're here. Let me check our handy dandy guide. A diary on a table outlined in yellow that you can pick up. Mm -hmm. You might start hearing anomaly detected. This is a sign that there is a ghost present nearby. Oh, gotcha. So we got to go like Danny Phantom on him. Oh, that's the ghost. You don't look like a ghost. You look fully alive. Oh, shit. Here's an idea. Relax. What about that? Do I have to kill him in this room? No, I'm already down again. Oh, let's get back up. I'm literally right next to him. Holy shit. Okay, I am so trash. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Ring of fire time. Throw a Gersh. Let's shoot him while we're in our ring of fire. There we go. I'm stressing myself out here. Does the ghost split or is he just done? I think he's just done. Hello, ghost. Oh shit. Here's your diary. Sorry about that. Are they gonna attack me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god, they're all just stockpiled in this corner. I can't fight the urge. I'm nading. Okay. We need to leave while we still have a chance. We talked to the ghost. We're heading back. I need to get a self-revive. There we go. Okay. Maybe that's why I don't play D-Machina as much. I'm not as good in small spaces. We have self-revive. We have quick revive. We have our armor regained. I need to upgrade my weapon again. Or again. I've only pack-a-punched it. I need to actually upgrade it. I'm gonna grab elementals since I'm right here. Okay. Get it to green. Get it to blue. Exit the menu. I'm already low on ammo. So I should probably pack a punch again. Damn, pack a punch two now. I would grab an ammo mod, but I feel like jug is more important at the moment. All right, we got our loose change. We just need a few more kills for jug. Oh shit. Oh, you're a lot weaker than the boss zombie. Hey, why don't you guys chill? There we go. Pretty sure we have to end this round anyways for the next anomaly to spawn, but I think we're good. Let's grab Jug. And <laughs> I'm going to be honest, wasn't listening too much when that ghost was talking. So what do I do now? Got it. So trials room, aether scope, workbench. And it's looking like I should be using aether shroud right now. The anomaly's in the same spot. Do you think I have to redo that? I don't think they'd give me a redo. Grab speed cola too. Yeah, this ghost is not here. Let's go to the trials room. There's our other ghost. There's the diary. Okay, so we talked to him here. Big Daddy's back, and he's by the workbench. Let's go. Does he have a microphone? He's spitting. 
Each brave German who falls in battle rising back up to protect. That was their plan? That's how this whole thing started? They're like, you know what? A lot of our soldiers had died. I think if we bring them back, they'll fight even harder the second time. Okay. All right. So there goes that. Can I fully upgrade this now? Oh, shit. Big Daddy's down here. Oh, he's gone. I didn't have to do anything to him. What do now? Okay, so now we need to go back to the computer, log into their Minecraft account, and just grief their server, I'm pretty sure. Yep, enter password. A H v very secure oh that lit up power required what we need to do then that's like in guitar hero 3 where they just had those people dancing in cages is that what we need to do we need to get the zombie turning up and to have finished all its elemental upgrades so i'm going to explain how to do all of those now we need all the elemental upgrades we're going to need to suck those crystals <laughs> with the wonder weapon all right so to get the electric one we need to do some sucking a certain anomaly wait what did this say something popped up here something popped up with an f saying try to open Weapon crate, try to open. Oh, we're gonna need the, the poison upgrade for that. Appropriate coolant. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. I need to freeze it off. Some dry ice in here. But we need to go back to the dark aether. Where's the portal? All right, here's the portal. Let's go in. What? I thought there's supposed to be little crystals. Oh, every time I come to the dark aether, is this guy gonna be lurking? Okay, I need to find these crystals and fast. If I was a crystal, where would I be? But speaking of fast, let's get stamina up. Oh, you know what? Death perception might help with this. I'm grabbing death perception. Okay, it does clearly list the normal crystals, but I don't see any gold ones. I gotta be missing something. And here, the portal in the pot. Use pat portal for this one. Won't spawn if you don't finish ghost and diary step. So there's multiple portals? I didn't see more than one portal. So I did do the diary step. What am I missing? And we're being sent back. Dang. How am I supposed to find these crystals? Let's go see if there's a portal down in pack a punch room. Oh, there is. Well, damn. Let's go into it. All right, now we can do this step. Zombies, please move out of my fucking way. Aether Shroud. Here's one, I think. I'm slurping it. That's not it. What the fuck? I've been scammed. Okay, there's one. Give that here. Okay, I think this one's full. There we go. Okay, we got one. There's another one up in Penthouse, and there's one here in Pond. So let me grab the one in Pond. There it is. Aether Shroud, and I'm just going to grab it. I have to shoot it first. Hey, editing Joe here. I'm going to make a few more mistakes like this. So, uh, yeah, uh, buckle up. There we go. I have two of them. Please don't send me back yet. I'm not done. Let's shoot it. Get it. That's the last one. There we go. This is not good. I have nothing to get me out of this. Just a few more kills and I can leave with Aether Shroud. Okay, there we go. Aether Shrouding. Okay, so good thing I still have it in this. I need to go down to the pap room and shoot a box with it. The way people figure this stuff out, I'll never understand. Okay, let's try it. Let's go. Got an artifact from it. Let's open this crate. Okay, so she thinks this one's more straightforward than the other one. So all these little upgrades are stored in these boxes. Do I need to use a certain ammo mod to open that one up? Do I need to use like, what is it, dead wire? Do not shoot your gun now and then run back to the box and blast it. When you've done this with your third and final crystal, the box will open. All right, simple enough. So what we need to do is wait for this portal to come back. Uh, we can take another portal to get this one to spawn back in. We can get that done. Okay, Wonder Fizz is here. Let's get that shot. We're going to need that bonus damage. Oh, there's insta-kill. That's going to help out a lot. Let's just take this Megaton out before we do anything else. Oh, or just go down. I think that's uh, also a viable option. Jeez. I'm so trash on this map. Okay, let's get our perks back. Go to this portal here. And I need to get some items that are going to help me stay alive. I think that's the smart move here. Let's see. Did the crystal spawn while I'm in this portal? Or does that have to be that specific one? Yep, it looks like it's the specific one. So I just have to wait for this one to end then. All right, we're leaving the Dark Aether now. We can go open the next portal. This one's a lot of back and forth. All right, let's hit the Pack Punch portal. Zombie, please leave me alone. I do not have time for you. Dark Aether or Aether Shroud, whatever the hell it's called. I'm getting an ammo mod on this right now. Okay, we're in the Aether again. Let's go get these crystals. If that crystal's not there. That means I need to go up to Penthouse. I did it wrong the first time. I grabbed them all and like shot them out. I just need to grab it and not shoot it. There we go. We have it. Let's Aether Shroud out of here. Aether Shroud's clutch for this one. Look at this movement speed. All right, shoot it at it again. 
All right, we got two filled up. Is it going to send us back or do we get a chance to go get the third? I think we have a chance to get the third. Let's go. This is only going to get harder the higher round we go to. So I'm going to just try to ignore all these zombies as much as I can. Okay, let's grab this before they get close to us. There we go. Kind of sucks the way that this Easter egg handicaps you a little bit. Because if you don't have mule kick, you basically have one weapon. You can't shoot out that, that glow. It's going to mess you up. But here we go. Here's our last one. That should be good now. Now it's sending us back. Let's just try to get this down to like only a few zombies. That way we can move a little freely here. But can we open this up yet? We can. Let's load it in. I've never seen this animation. That's sick. Okay, we have the Electro Bolt. Let's try this. Do I shoot it into this now? Is that what I do? You're going to use the suck feature of the wonder weapon. There is a spot where you can place the canister down. You then need to fill it up with the gas from dead plague hounds. Okay, now this part is a little different. I have this ammo mod loaded. We already grabbed the canister earlier. Oh wait, what's Weaver saying? Hey, editing Joe here. Okay, so basically in this part, I thought they're gonna say something important, like something towards the Easter egg. So I was trying to listen, but we were just like, oh, what do you think they were doing here? And Dr. Gray's like, uh, making zombies, Lamau. Basically, it was a useless conversation but I did figure out where to put the canister at. So there you go. Just so you're not lost. Okay, there's a plague hound. Come on down. Okay, we got one plague hound killed in here. I don't know how many we're gonna need, but I'm sure it's more than that. No, not again. Not going down. Let's jump back down. We're out of ammo. Stun. This is not good. I need to get ammo. This is probably the worst run of this Easter egg ever. All right, we got ammo now. Let's try to get this Plague Hound back downstairs before it blows up. Same with this guy. Come on over to Deadshot. Yep, spawn right there. Perfect. Come on in. There we go. That's another Plague Hound down. Another one. Cornering myself, but I'm going to go ahead and hit Ether Shroud. I'm going to head over and try to upgrade my armor as well as my weapon. The okay, armor is level three. Weapon is purple. Can't quite get into legendary, but that's okay. We still need a few more Plague Hound kills down here. So we might actually just have to end the round. Before we do that, I think we need a few more perks. Yeah, we're going to get our Death Perception back, our Dead Shot back, Tombstone back, and I think we're good. We'll get Mule Kick a little later. But for now, we're going to be saving up for PAP 3. What do we do until then? I don't think any more Plague Hounds are spawning be nice to get around for them right about now it's not looking like it though so i'll stay here until i see plague hound spawn then i'll move them down to dead shot kill them in there i don't know how many it's gonna take to fill it up but i i'd assume we're close to halfway if not already halfway there it is let's lead it on down there we go it's another one i don't know how long it'll take to fill this canister up kill it right in front of the canister right there oh i've been doing this wrong I don't just need to kill them down here. I need to kill them near this thing so I can suck it up. So I just wasted the last two rounds. I'm going to be doing this on like round 30 and that's going to be way harder than it needs to be. And it also would be way easier to wait for a play count round, but I don't think we just have rounds to spare anymore. There's a decoy here. I'm throwing it down. Let's see if the play count will still follow. It is. Come here, Mr. Play count. Perfect timing right here. Walk to me. There we go. Jeez. Okay, it's sucking it up. We're going to Aether Shroud here because I just got... Completely pinned. Okay. We have the canister now. We got our stuns back as well. Okay. Now we just need to get to crash site. Put the canister on top of the box. Shoot it. And then we should be able to get the Nova 5 upgrade. I actually would be nowhere in this Easter egg without like any guide. So shout out Mr. Waffle Raffles. Toss it on there. Shoot it. Can we open it up now? Let's go. Load it in. Now we have the stinky one. There is a box which you can use your fuse on. So go oh, over to dang. it and hold score. All right. Now what we need to do is go over to the cockpit that's already floating. What? Shoot that open. Oh, we can already grab the fuse. Nice. Didn't need to go to the Dark Aether for that one. Now we can head down by Deadshot again. There's a box that we can laser open. Where though? Oh, okay. I think this part I need to be in the Dark Aether for. Let me just double check. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. We're in the Dark Aether now. Let's head back to Deadshot. See if the machine's there now. Our machine is here. Put the fuse in and it's cutting it open. Let's go. And I'm down. Let's not go. That's my fourth down. It's about to be a turnover on downs. Come here, zombie. No, what are you jumping for? Let me just use my quick revive. Okay, using my self revive then, I guess. These zombies are dicks. It's so hard to get out of this spot. They're camping the stairs. Okay, I have my Aether Shroud back. Jeez, this map is so claustrophobic. Okay, now we can open up this box. Get this upgrade. Let's go. And we already have this part of the cryo one done. We just need to get that box done, but we need the normal 
DIE machine to do it. So I'm not going up there until I have Aether Shroud ready. I'm already like out of ammo too. I'm struggle busting this. Let's see four of these guys. Easy. What they dropped for me? Carpenter? Desperately needed that. Okay, I'm pretty sure to get rid of this uh, laser version, whatever it's called, of the DIE machine, I need to shoot it. So might as well try it out here. Uses about 10 per shot. Pretty sick, actually. Let's just waste the rest of it. You know, it's it's back to zero. Wait, how do I get this like going back to normal? Do I just have to go back to the box and switch it out? Yep. Switch to DIE shockwave. So let me get a little bit of ammo for this. No, I didn't want to brain rot him. Okay, well, that's just another round ended that I didn't need. We can do this. No, we can't. We don't have enough. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult. And it's a dog round, okay? Not that bad, actually. I don't think we're ever getting pack three at the rate we keep going down. This should help us get at least this step done. Come on, feed me. Okay, we have enough to shoot. Shoot it down. Okay, we can grab the flask. Use the flask on this. And I know where the box is for the next one. Can I pour it on there? All right, what now? You then just need to wait like a minute or two. And if after that time, it's still not ready to be picked back up, then I'd suggest coming back the next round. We actually need to sit there and wait for it. I swear if I go back and it's like gone or despawned, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, yeah, it's still dripping into it. I think we need to wait till the round's over. So I'll end it. And then I think we can go with the flask and freeze off those chains. There we go. I just had to wait a little bit. Didn't even notice it got put down on the ground. The thing is see-through. Okay, freeze it up. Come on, open. There we go. We now have the cryo emitter. This one probably looks the coolest out of all of them, not gonna lie. And before we get too ahead of ourselves, what do we do now that we have all the elemental upgrades? Shoot the colored corners of that canister that correspond to the elemental upgrades. I could have been doing this the whole time I had it. I need to go in and shoot the corresponding corner. So I'm just going to shoot them all until one works for cryo. Okay, let's do this one. Nope, that's the toxic one. This one probably. Oh, let's aether shroud while we do it. Okay, that one's up. That one's full. Where is the next one? Down here? This one's going to be the poop one. The stinky one. No, this is the Electro Bolt. Never mind. Sneaky one's upstairs. So many fucking zombies. Okay, Aether Shroud again. I'm assuming it's going to be here or here. There we go. That's two of them. Uh-oh. We got to head up to the Stink one. It actually gave me so much ammo. 354 shots. What? Now we take the Fart one. There we go. Pretty sure there was a toy like this that actually just shot out like Fart Spray. I can't imagine why a parent would buy that for their kid. Because your whole house is just going to be smelling like Fart. And it's your fault. But... That's beside the point. It's this one. Okay, we need one more. Okay, our last one's here in this truck. Let me take that. And now we shoot the one that's last. There we go. The power has been restored. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to take this portal now. There's a lot of zombies, though. Bring functionality. So Weaver wants us to try to use this power to get the dude that made the accelerator back alive so he can shut it down. Is that what's happening here? And you'll be able to pick up a wrench and use it multiple times on the side of the tank. Then a zombie will pop out of the top. You need to kill that zombie and then use an explosive on the top of the tank in order to get the tank to fire. And grab the gold ball. All right, that just gave me a lot of information. So I already forgot. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. Duh. Nah, I kind of do forget a little bit of it. But we need to go back over here. Head back into this portal like we thought before. Now we need to make our way back to that area. What the hell? What is that? You see that? I would not be able to see that without death perception. I shouldn't have shot that zombie, by the way. I'm going to miss this whole cutscene. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Look at that. Oh shit, am I ass stun? Stun again? Good thing I have an Aether Shroud ready now. I don't know what these guys are saying. I always forget not to shoot the zombies when something like this starts. Okay, there's a nuke. That should help out a bit. We'll just shoot this Megaton. What are you doing? Oh, he's gone. That's got to be something for later. Why would it spawn outside the map like that? Okay, we have two Megaton bombers here. Let's grab this Aether Wrench. Now that we have the wrench, we have to go fix the tank out in the spawn area. Jeez, we're on round 29 doing this. There we go. Oh, the zombie popped up on top. We gotta kill him. Okay, now that he's dead, I need to use an explosive on there. I was stupid and didn't come prepared, so I gotta buy one right now. Exit the fucking menu, please. Whew. Hey, throw an explosive on it. Right up here. Did it do it? Okay, it shot the tree. Let's go. And there's our gold ball that fell. Okay, this is not fair. I need an Aether Shroud. Be very quick with it. It's got a huge protruding nipple on the top. Let's load it in. Subject required. What's the subject? Do any of them look particularly knowledgeable about particle accelerators and nuclear fission? 
Nuclear fission? Fusion? I definitely... Yeah, I'm a scientist. Okay, what do we have to put in here? Jeez! Stun! Aether Shroud! And I'm already down! God damn it! Oh, we got one. Oh! He's being ascended! He's being taken! Okay, so we got one in there. I'm assuming we're just gonna need to get both. Look at him. I was right. We do put them in here like little dancers. My Aether Shroud again. Okay. We got two in there now. This is ridiculous with all these zombies. I'm gonna go get perks. Okay. I got some perks back. My Lanta. I went down five times doing this. Okay. They're still just chilling in there. What do I do? Is there a button I can hit? Oh, start. Oh, what? The door's closed. They're, they're getting their, their, their groove on in there. We put them back together. What? He can speak? Apparently his name's Orlov. I didn't do shit. Bring it back, pal. Uh-oh. He does not look like a normal Megaton, though. That's like all skin. So this guy's just yoked. Okay, so we need to kill him? Is that what's happening here? We brought him back just to end him? Oh, the power is off in here. Okay. How do we help him remember who he was? Mr. Waffle Waffles, how do we do that? In my opinion, the two best upgrades to use are the electric upgrade and the fire upgrade. Then when your team is ready for the fight, go into Nocturon Totem and look for the newly spawned in anomaly. Okay, so basically we need to get ready because shit's about to go down. We need to prepare for this boss fight. I've gone down so many times that I have no points to get pack three. So we might need to rely on our wonder weapon here. Uh, he says fire and the electric ones are the best. So <laughs> we might have to go with the electric one. Gonna need to make sure that we are stacked here. So I need to farm up some points. Farm these points. I'm going to train these zombies up and just hit them with a C4. Okay, C4 going down. Let's use it. Almost the entire round of zombies killed there. That really only got us 3,000 points, though. I really want that Molotov, so if you could leave it alone. Okay, Molly. Instantly killed the whole horde. We did one more round. We have 12,000 now. Let's make sure that we have nades on us. We're going to need a self-revive for sure. A death machine will probably help. Going to need dead shot here and stamina up. I'm gonna try to just farm points up here for a little bit until I get overwhelmed, which is gonna be very soon. There we go. Okay, we made it through one more round so I can get speed cola. I'm gonna get tombstone just in case. Okay, we have enough to get our gallo to legendary. I think that's probably all we can do because me sitting here trying to grind out 30,000 points is gonna take forever. Exit the menu, please! Those menus are literally made to get you killed. I'm, I'm so conflicted. I know this thing is hardly even killing zombies at this point. Like, unless I headshot. So the damage to the boss is just going to be even worse. Plus, he's going to be spawning zombies in on me, I assume. So should I just sit here and grind until I have 30,000? Like, is, is that the move? I feel like it is. So I'm going to do that. I can buy another death machine. I'm just going to use it on the Megaton. There we go. Megaton is down. Now I can just train these zombies up and nade them to death. Go ahead and do that. Easy. Only a thousand away now from pack three. Let me get the show on the road. One more nade should do it. There we go. Okay, there's like one zombie left. So I'm going to waste the rest of this death machine. So I can go ahead and buy a new one. Get our Semtexes back. This guy is still screaming down here and it's scary. We have pack three though. Okay, am I forgetting anything? I have the DIE Electro Bolt. I have pack a punch three on my shotgun. Two Aether Shrouds, full stuns, full nades. 6,900 points. Sex. So that all checks out. Pretty sure I have every perk, just to be sure. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Bring me on in. Okay, now I'm supposed to be looking for some ghosts down here. It should be pretty easy to spot. Here's one. This is Orlov. He got yoked. Oh, you can still even see the picture on there. That's pretty cool. That information is considered very much above my rank, but... Damn. So they're telling him he needs to go in and shut down the reactor or turn it on or something. I wasn't paying attention to that part. But it's way above his rank to know what happens after. But he knows he's going to die from it. That's fucked. He gave that whole speech to the picture. That's kind of cute. I hope he at least wrote that down in a letter for him. Because that shit was not for me to hear. I think now we go down in the Pack-A-Punch room. Now that we've uh, found out his past. The lights are still off in here. But there's no way that was it. Maybe it dropped something there that I forgot to grab. It was probably that picture I was looking right at in his hands. Yep, it was. I'm an idiot. Okay. Now with the family photo, let's bring us back into the Dark Aether. Oh, what's up, Orlov? We homies now? Oh, he doesn't look crazy. Like, he doesn't look like a Megaton. This dude got some, some Neutravena. Yep.
Thanks for translating. Damn. Omega did this guy dirty. Sick. Bet. He's pissed. Oh, so I have to protect him while he destroys this thing? This is gonna be tough at round 30. I think we got Pack Punch before this. We have another Megaton to stop him, though. You think you could just be like, yeah, just like blow this up or something here. And then like he'd protect us, but no. Let's Aether Shroud so we can get that full reload. Okay, one down, two to go, he says. We gotta protect him. No, what? He gets affected by elemental damage? That's fucked. Okay, Aether Shroud again. Will they leave him alone? Or are they all hoarding towards him? Fuck off. Leave him be. Maybe Ring of Fire would have been better. <laughs> I was just told in the, in the guide to use Aether Shroud. No. If you knock me, I'm gonna be pissed. Nades going out. I know, Orlov. I know you need help. I'm over here fumbling. Let's Death Machine. Okay, this guy is staying way too close to him. Too many Megatons as well. Okay, we're already out of our Death Machine, which is not good. Leave Orlov alone. I'm trying, bro. It's round 36. Okay, I think that's two now. Last one. Let's head down and make sure this guy is still being protected. Oh my god. He's getting swarmed. I wish there was a crafting bench down here so I could make like a monkey bomb or something. Leave him alone. Oh, got an Aether Shroud. While we're in it, let's get some free damage on these guys. Fuck it. Let's use the Electro Beam. Oh. That just killed everything. Jeez. I must go. I'll let him know, Orlov. I'll be sure to let him know. Holy shit. Okay, we need to leave. What is this? What the fuck? That just did so much damage. Oh, this place about to blow. No Kesha. We only have a minute. We got a death machine. Let's get Gersh's and Semtex's and let's run there. We have to exfil. Let me through. Oh my God. How do I get through? No, 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 no. I downed myself. I went the wrong way. No fucking way. Why does it even let me run up that way then? No, I only have 40 seconds. This is not happening. Oh shit. No, no, I actually need to kill a zombie to get up. Are you fucking kidding me? No fucking way. It's over, I lost it. Oh fuck. Three, two, one, it's over. I got the achievement for it though. I literally failed on the very last part of it. This is exactly like Firebase again. All right, I'm gonna really quick try to run through it again and we're gonna see the ending of this. So I'll be right back. We're almost back to where we were. Welcome back, Orlov. You will. Yes, sir. Now go ahead and put that down so I can pick it up. Thank you. And we're immediately being teleported. All right, let's do this thing. There you go, bucko. Get her going. Her. This guy's speaking like how I read a script. Yes, sir, we will. Go ahead and get started. Okay, so the whole thing that happened last time, we went the wrong way on the exfil. We're not gonna do that again. We're on a lot lower round, so this should be way easier than before. Oh, shit. This guy's not happy. I don't know how he expects me to save him with these Megatons around. There's like 40 of them. Let me repair my armor. I can actually upgrade my weapon really quick too. Come on, dude. A little faster, please. Next one, next one, let's go. Keep a move on. Does this do anything for you? Not much. No, I need help. Stun, go. Why can't I throw stuns? Oh, I barely snuck out of that. I shouldn't have. No, 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 no. I don't know how I'm living, but I'm not mad about it. Come on, leave this man alone. He just wants his family back. Okay, damn. You can literally just throw them into a wall or something, but I guess I'll do everything. All right, work, bro. You're literally just sitting there shaking your hips. Get back to work. There you go. Tap the air. Okay, last one. I'll try my best to hold them off. This thing is stupidly underpowered. And there's another one of these guys. Great. Time for a war machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all over you. I'm trying, pal. I'm trying, believe me. I just initiated my, my frenzy guard right as he finished. Okay, he's gonna tell us to get out of here. I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. My armor's fully up. I have my perks, at least as much as I'm gonna need. Yep, you're gonna see him again, pal. Go ahead, let me go. I'm trying, bro. I can't believe there's a right and wrong path to take for this. 
No, 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 no. We're not going down. I'm running through this. Looks like we can't go that way. We gotta keep moving. Okay. Um, um, this way isn't completely blocked, so we can make it through. All right, we're on the Axfell site. Where's Raptor 1? Oh, he's here. We have to clear it out? Or are you good to land? Oh, you can land here with no no problems, but every other time you gotta kill everything else. Okay. I got you, Raptor 1, so you've been able to do this the whole time. Oh, we did it. It took literally two attempts and a treadmilling plague hound, but we did it. Dang, we blew it up. Let's go. I really went back and played for a whole nother like hour just for an, the, the ending there. But we did it. We went through and we completed the D-Machina Easter egg. I think now we have every Easter egg done except for the Legion boss fight. We never finished that. Let's make sure we get our calling card here. I'm not getting scammed again. Okay, yeah, there it is. It didn't pop up last time, but here's the evil unleashed calling card. None of my other ones are loading in here. Oh, there we go. But we still need to do one of the outbreak ones. We need to get to round 100. There's a million kill one that I for sure won't be able to get. I'm only at like 200, maybe 300,000 kills. So 700,000 kills is a little out of reach. And then there's some there's some dead ops arcade ones. But also, we don't need everything to get Dark Ops Master. As you can see, I have Dark Ops Master right here for zombies. But yeah, there we go. Well, we finished off. The D-Machina Easter egg, it might have taken us two tries, but we still got it done. But I think I'm going to have to end the video here. If you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't. Dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.